So my name is Greg Price. I am the Associate Professor, uh, Academic Program Director here for the Master of Arts in Leadership uh, at City University of Seattle. I also work as a co-business owner of 22 years for Price Media Incorporated. It's a, a magazine publishing business. You can see on the screen the, uh, the different credentials and my work history. So today, what we're going to be talking about uh, is an important topic. And uh, the three things that uh, we'll be talking about are, are listed there on your screen. What hiring managers want in new hires today. Uh, discussing the differences uh, between soft skills and hard skills. And finally, our future in leadership. The uh, the, the circles that you see on the slide, uh, we're going to start with uh, what hiring managers want in their new hires. And you see these many different circles. Uh, notice uh, that they are all about soft skill types. So look through them, browse through them as I'm talking. Uh, there's a couple in here, a couple of circles on the slides that I can categorize and lump together. And they take the uh, top suggested areas, uh, one of them being dependable, uh, the other is having a strong work ethic. And to me, these two items are on the same side of a coin. Your supervisor wants to know what you, that you will be there tomorrow. And to not only know that you're going to be there, to also add value to the organization. The other side of the coin has two more elements that seem to work well or fit well together. They are having a positive attitude and being self-motivated. Somewhere along the way, the managers have become the answer people for questions that employees have. Uh, maybe the manager needs to be more uh, leader-like, and this is simple to do. You, Of course, it has complexities, but the other is simple. Uh, managers uh, answer questions, but maybe leaders uh, guide individuals, and, and they should become more of that uh, to better employees and uh, to help employees find information themselves for them, basically. Now, the rest of the circles, they all qualify to be in this group, with each one being important components independently of each other. They just... Um, they just didn't make it to the top of the chart. So uh, Career Builder has uh, released a and they noted that hiring managers identify soft skills as being just as important as hard skills. Now notice that some even said that they are more important, but you might be asking, so what are these soft skills that we're talking about? And so if we define hard skills and soft skills a bit, uh, in a nutshell, this slide puts the differences between hard skills and soft skills in an easy to understand format. Notice that hard skills uh, are things of what you know, and soft skills are more about how you act. Now the question to ask is, what do soft skills look like? How can they be identified? This next slide that I'm going to show you will bring into view words that might make this more clear. So there's your big list of, uh, of soft skills. Uh, just take a few of them. Um, some of my favorites. I mean, as, as I talk about this, go ahead and uh, read through the list. Uh, I'll talk over that uh, and let you know some of my favorites. Um, patience, flexibility, calmness, work ethic, adaptability, common sense, decision making. I mean, there's more that I could take, but uh, these are some that maybe resonate with me right now. Um, so go ahead and find your own set of words. Uh, just kind of browse through the list and find those that uh, might be in important for you. Uh, the importance of trying to incorporate soft skills into your behavior is a learned process. Um, it, it's also something that you can develop over time, and uh, that's primarily what I am trying to uh, convey in this presentation. So 
Uh, I'm sure you've heard of this term, emotional intelligence. What I've witnessed over the years is that when individuals do not have the confidence to know their own behavior, they tend to become defensive in their dealings with others. However, on the other side, individuals who are confident, know themselves inside and out, have a handle on their own behavior, these individuals tend to be more calm under pressure. And it is at this time when one's emotional intelligence or EQ becomes visible to others. Note the wording in the second paragraph where it states, ability to recognize and understand emotions in yourself and others. To get to this point, it is not easy, and nor does it come without putting in the work. Disciplined work toward this end will work in your favor in the long run. So the measure of success, uh, remember the words on the slide that typify soft skills? Hopefully you identified a few, with a few of those on that uh, screen that had all those uh, words on it. Well, it would be nearly impossible to be good at all of the faucets or even most of them. And this is not what we try to accomplish uh, in, in our program. The slide brings forth an idea for you to focus on. And that's really it. Uh, though this slide may bring forward six different uh, ideals, many studies have shown that if you focus on and deliver on merely five and make them stand out to your greatest extent possible, your leadership skills will become notice noticed and they will also further your career. Now how this uh, can be applied is, is and why it's important is just this next slide here, the one you're looking at, is leadership just good management? Well, honestly, how do you, um, how does leadership become a differentiator for you? Uh, by synthesizing a combination of soft skills, you'll enhance your ability to communicate in the coming conceptual age. Though hard skills are important too, it is the soft skills that will bring satisfaction to others. Now, hard skills are the ideas of data, and these are where decision-making comes into play, and it becomes very important. And by bringing satisfaction to others through the use of soft skills, you will have followers who will enjoy watching you lead. The next couple of slides point to this success. So, satisfaction, rewarding, and EQ. As discussed in the previous slide, you'll note that to deliver on satisfaction through EQ, you will deliver the needed rewards of success to others. It's an important component, and it's, uh, it's just how it works. So emotional intelligence is, uh, as mentioned, leaders need hard skills as well. But, and hard skills support decision making, as I have mentioned. But the differentiator is the soft skills. So what is it that you can bring to your organization in this way? The awareness that soft skills are high, highly kinesthetic, meaning that you become aware, have awareness, have empathy towards other, other individuals is extremely important and cannot be understated. Uh, it, it's, it will be your differentiator in the workplace. Know your hard skills. Of course, you need to have those, but, but really the soft skills uh, are, are being missed in the workplace today. And we need to be able to have our emotional intelligence at work while we're working through our, our daily tasks and ensure that what it is we are accomplishing is going to be accomplished in the manner that it was intended. So hopefully, I've interested you enough to want to follow this path of learning about leadership. And as a program director for the Master of Arts in Leadership, I really encourage you to uh, look at the Master of Arts in Leadership webpage at cityuniversity.edu. On the next slide, I have a, a link for you and you know, you'll be able to see that. But for now, take a look at these uh, different ideas that we have. We have discovering ethics, adaptive leadership, thought leadership and creativity. Um, these are just four of the courses that we have in the program. And uh, you'd be, um, uh, it, it would be very helpful for you 
in your career process to uh, to take a look at City University of Seattle and look at the Master of Arts in Leadership. It takes you approximately 18 months to complete a program, and uh, that's enough time to change some habits. So thank you very much for your time. I really very much appreciate it. Uh, you'll see on the screen my phone number. You can reach, me out, uh, reach out to me at any time. Uh, my email, uh, there's a, uh, a link if you can, if, uh, personal website link. There's my LinkedIn page and a couple of Twitter accounts that, uh, that I communicate out on. So again, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this and um, hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you.